Well, greetings once again, legacy-minded men of God. This is Dr. John L. Mack, and it's my honor and privilege to be able to come and share with you information for your elevation and transformation. Listen, uh, when uh, they asked me to come back and share with you, I was like, what, Lord, what would you like me to share with the brothers that's going to give them an impact and influence them to become better legacy minded men, that their legacy would be able to go forward, that they would be able to, to do what you've called them to do and to be who you designed them to be. Because all too often we get caught up in, in a lot of the nuances of life and we find ourselves unable to, um, to move forward toward the dream or the goal or the, the plan that we have set out for our life or that God has developed and designed for our life. So one of the, the setbacks that I've discovered early on is uh, the power of losing and the impact of loss. So all too often, when we endeavor to do something, we find ourselves coming up against a brick wall. We coming, we find ourselves uh, in front of a, of, a, of an insurmountable uh, object. Uh, we find ourselves unable to get the victory that we set out to 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 achieve, and we find ourselves uh, because of that struggle, because of that setback. We, we find ourselves giving up, becoming depressed, uh, no longer putting forth the effort necessary to achieve the end result. All of us fail in life. All of us have, have failures and setbacks and, and losses. Uh, you know, when you get out there every Sunday afternoon, any given Sunday, there are two teams that are on the on the uh, on the battlefield, and they're they're going against each other. One wants to win, the other one wants to win. And as a as a fan, I want one to win over the other because this is my team. But at the end of the day, only one will win. Now we've got this uh, whole thing a little uh, skewed uh, because we give comp medals just for participation. We give medals for just being in the game. Well. There's something healthy about competition. Competition breeds excellence. Competition brings out the best in us and allows us to, to continue the struggle, knowing that if we overcome, there's a reward or there's a prize. So when we find ourselves in this, uh, this, on this battlefield, in this, this arena of conflict, um, and we find ourselves losing, we find ourselves not on the winning side of the coin. What happens to us? We often give up. We often uh, deny ourselves um, the uh, ability to continue on. We stop. We quit. And so I want to talk to you today about lessons that I've learned from losing. You see, losing isn't always final. Losing isn't always the last word on the subject. Sometimes losing means that we have just um, found a way that doesn't work. And, you know, you look at the story of Formula 409. Everybody knows about Formula 409. It's a great cleanser, uh, cleaner. It makes things better. But what happens? With, form with Formula 409, the inventor or the guy that, that formulated this formula went through 408 different iterations that did not work. Did he give up? No. At number 49, he says, hey, I found 49 ways that won't work. Let me try it again. And then on the 45th, on the 40, on the 50th, on the 60th time, on the 100th time, he could have given up easily and nobody would have counted him as a loser. Everybody would have said, okay, hey, great try. You know, you, you go guy, do something else. But no, he knew that there was an answer in the, uh, in the, in the formulation of a product that could do the job that he needed done. So he continued on 300, 400. If at the 400th time, that should have been, that was enough time where most men would have just said, hey, I'm sorry. This just isn't going to work. I give up. There's not a, the answer is not here. This is not humanly possible. This is not a, the, per, the perfection that I'm seeking isn't possible. You know, let me just do an aside. Perfect is, uh, is the enemy of great. You see, we tried to be great. We try to, to, uh, to be perfect, and we end up, because we can't reach perfection, perfection never gets done. Done is better than perfect, because perfect never gets done. But as you keep going on and on, he continued on until he came up with the, the 409th time he was able to have success. 
All those losses, he didn't count them as L's. He counted them as lessons, lessons learned of what he could or should or what needed to be done. So when I started looking at my own life, I realized that there was a pattern that I was in, engaged in. And this pattern was taking me from point A to point B. Uh, was taking me from, from, from the desired result that I had in my mind, the vision, the goal, the plan. It was taking me through steps. And along those steps, there were some dips and some valleys, as well as some, some hills and some, some peaks. I could have quit at the peaks, at the dips and the valleys, uh, but I never would have reached the pinnacle or the success that I was seeking. So what did I do? I continued. And I used those, those losses as lessons to be able to help me effectively accomplish the goal that I was seeking. So in those patterns, in those methodologies that I was dealing with, I realized, okay, there's a lesson in losing. And I want to share with you uh, the, the lessons that I found in that word losing, L-O-S-I-N-G. So we're gonna start with that first letter of losing and that's the L. And that means this, losing isn't failure. It's not failing. That when you lose in a particular uh, uh, battle that you're fighting and you lose that battle, you don't give up and say, the war is over, I give up, I surrender. No, you said, I'm gonna attack it again. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna attempt again. I'm gonna try again. So you, when you realize that first valuable lesson that losing isn't failing, but that is learning that that way that you're endeavoring is not the way that's gonna work. And that's important. As men of God, we have to realize that there are times that we're gonna do things that seem right to us, but may not be God's plan for us. And God has another way, a, a more perfect way for us to engage. And once we learn that and go through all the ways that won't work, all those losses, then we can finally say, okay, Lord, you show me what to do. And then you'll learn that the lesson in losing was that you weren't uh, failing, but that you were just not hitting the mark the way that God wanted you to hit it. And now the O stands for this. It means opportunities uh, can start with losses. That, that every time you lose, that you can give your hand, throw your hands up and quit, or you can say, okay, what was the lesson in that? And in that lesson is an opportunity to try again another more effective way that's going to get the result that you're looking for. So the second, that O means opportunities can start with losses. And guess what? When you, when you realize that opportunities start with losses, then you encounter that setback, you won't give up. Instead, you realize that setbacks are setups for comebacks. And that's what the, 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 the S means, that setback, just because you have a setback. You know, you're moving forward, you're running down there and down in, in the race of life, you're, you're running the hurdles or you're running the, the 100 meter uh, run and you, and you stumble and you fall. That's a setback, but that sets you up to get up and try harder, to run with everything that's within you. Ruptured Kipling says, 60 seconds worth of distance run, that you give it all that you got. And when you get to the finish line, you can say that you came back and that you won. So setbacks are setups for, for comebacks. So don't allow the setback to stop you from your comeback and your move forward toward the dream and the goal that you have set out for yourself. Now, the, the next letter is I, and I means incidents of loss inspire gain. Think about that for a moment. When you have an incident uh, that ends in loss, are you inspired to get up and to win again? Are you inspired to get up and to, and to gain? Or are you just resigned to just lay down in that heap of, of frustration and loss and just count it over and just give up and, and say, oh, well, I tried. You know, my friend, uh, Dr. Wendy Talley says, uh, try is a premeditated lie, that you've already made up your mind when you said that you're gonna try, that you're not gonna give it your best, that you're not gonna uh, endeavor and engage with excellence, but that instead that you're gonna just be able to say, well, at least I tried. Trying isn't enough. Yoda says, there's no try, there's just do. And you Star Wars fan will appreciate that, uh, that uh, uh, reference. So we realize that incidents 
of loss inspired gain. Every time we lose, we should be inspired to get up and try harder and win more, to do more, to try another way, to do something different that you are now you're inspired to win. You're inspired to gain. Uh, Napoleon Hill in that epic book, Think and Grow Rich, talked about inspiration to action. You know, when um, I, we could go on and on about that, but let me just share this. The N stands for never quit even if you're losing, even if it seems like it's over. We talked about uh, Napoleon Hill and the, the story of the man that, that was looking for the gold and he was 10 foot, he was three feet from gold, but he gave up, sold everything. The guy that, that, uh, that bought the gold mine and the, and the equipment realized, hey, I don't know very much about this. I'm going to go to an expert. The expert told him three foot further, he would find the goal. He did. His life was changed. The other guy ended up selling insurance. <laughs> well, never quit, even if you're losing, even if it seems like it's over. You could be three feet from goal. You could be just one, one, one attempt away from realizing exactly what you wanted to realize in life. So as men of God, we have to realize that never quitting is the new mantra, that we don't give up, that we continue on and you try again and again and again. Uh, uh, Shakespeare said tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace of day to day life. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools their way to death. Out, out, brief candle. Life is but a vapor. And that vapor can just be extinguished, or you can continue with just that vapor. And even on the vapors that you can come and push yourself toward that final finish goal, that finish line, and that you can still win. You can win again. And finally, the G means this. Get over losing and try again. If you didn't win this time, if you didn't win that time, that doesn't mean that you won't win the next time. Ray Kroc was 50-some years old when he founded McDonald's. Colonel Sanders was almost 60 or 70. Just because you reached a, a, a chronological point in life, just because you're, say, you're 30 years old and you don't have your degree yet, just because you, you whatever the reason that you just say, get over the losing, get over the fact that you haven't won yet and try again. And when you try again, that a next attempt could be the one we never know. You know, in sales, they tell you that it's a numbers game and that, uh, that if 100 people come in, that the law of averages say that 20% of them will actually purchase. So you can, you can stumble over that 20%. The only thing is most people don't know of that 100, which are the 20. So the 80 that say no, the 80 that doesn't purchase or don't, won't buy makes them so frustrated and so jaded that they give up, not realizing that that 20 is great. In baseball, if you bet if you bet 300 out of 1,000, if you bet 300, you're paid millions of dollars. But that means it's 700 times that you either struck out or didn't make it to the base. 700 times that three times more you failed, you lost, but they'll pay you millions for that 300%, that 30%. Listen, all I want to share with you today is this. The lessons that I learned from losing is that number one, losing isn't failure. Number two, opportunities can start with losses. Number three, setbacks are setups for comebacks. And number uh, next, incidents of loss inspire gain. The N means never quit, even if you're losing. And the G means get over losing and try again. Listen, if you're in your relationship, in your family situations, on your job, in your church, your community, wherever you are, if you'll learn these lessons on losings, losing, you can win again and again and again because you're not caught up in the mindset of loss. Instead, you become the boss of your own situation and you become the one that is able to overcome and win in life. Hey, this again is Dr. John L. Mack. It's been my privilege and my pleasure to share with you again information for your elevation and transformation. Have an awesome, awesome day. And remember, only you can make the decision to win and or lose. Choose to win. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you were blessed by the material. We also want to remind you that there are several great ways to make sure you're staying up to date on our content as part of our 360 Legacy Plan. First, subscribe to this channel by clicking subscribe below. You can also download our incredible new app in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Just search Legacy Minded Men. And finally, visit our website at Legacy 
mindedmen.org for more information on what we believe, upcoming events, and how to join a group. Thanks again for watching.